Hey guys, it's Kelly and I'm here with my March BoxyCharm. Um, I have filmed this a couple of times, <laughs> so that's why my box is already open. Um, I had some problems with my box this month, so I wanted to kind of go over um, what's going on and why it's already open instead of me unboxing it for you. Um, I purposefully did not look at anybody else's BoxyCharm um, because I didn't want to know what was in there. I wanted it to be, you know, kind of surprised with you guys. Um, this is the card that came in the box and it says sweet treats. Sugar is sweet, but this box is sweeter. And on the back, it does have some information that if you go to boxycharm.com, um, that you can click on the box link and they have a box that's worth over $250 that you can enter to win. So if you want to, I'm sorry that there is a, uh, shadow there. But if you want to screenshot that, you can uh, enlarge it and get the info or whatever. Um, <clears throat> I've never really been this disappointed with BoxyCharm. Um, so, let me just go ahead and get into what we've got going on here. Um, I got this. Um, it's the Catherine Malandrino Style de Paris. Um, it's a perfume. And this is it right here. And um, it is one of those, this is the black cap, and you pull it off and it's just the spritzer. Um, it's in here because it's leaked everywhere. So that's, that is the first thing that sort of kind of, as soon as I open the box, that's what happened. And so I had to kind of stop filming and kind of, you know, I don't want this on my table because it'll take the varnish off and that sort of thing. So yeah, that wasn't a very good start. Now, I did see a couple of other things and this was one of the first things that I picked up after that. And um, this is an eye pencil and, um, or is it an eye pencil or is it a, yeah, it's, a, it's an eyebrow color. It says tantalizing taupe eyebrow color and it had one of those shrink wrap things on it you know and so it literally took me like five minutes to get into this thing and so I had to quit filming and you know start over again so anyway it uh, it is one of the uh kind that it you know is mechanical or whatever so um I've never heard of the brand hello um but that's what the brand is um, if you want to look right here, it's just a, you know, just a basic taupe shade. Um, it's, it's, I guess, medium when it comes to soft. Um, it's pretty, it, it's got a pretty good pigment. Um, so the color payoff is pretty well on that, but it is teeny, teeny tiny. Um, so we've got that. So let me put that over to the side. Um, one of the things here that I'm upset about is that they put the Sweet Treats card in here, but I did not get a card telling me anything about any of these uh, products this time. Um, so I have no idea, you know, I've never heard this before, but I have no idea how much it's worth, where you could find it. I, I don't know anything about it other than what it says on the package. So, you know, there's that or whatever. Um... The next thing that I found in here was a makeup brush, and it is by the brand Visanti. Um, so if you take it off, uh, um, I noticed that it's um, it has a nice ferrule. It's a really nice handle. Um, it's synthetic. It's a, it's not dense. It's really a loose. Um, it, it would be good maybe for blush or, you know, dusting um, some powder under the eyes or something like that. But I can't tell you how much it, it, you know, how much it's worth. I have no idea how much my box is worth this month because, you know, I don't, I don't have the card. I went online at boxycharm.com and couldn't find any information either. So, I'm going to hit their customer service line tonight um, because I, I'm, I'm really upset. Um, <clears throat> so... The next thing that I found in here, um, it sounds good. I've heard of Clark's Botanicals before. This is an anti-puff eye cream, and um, it comes in a pump like this, and it says it's specifically targeted for stubborn puffiness, dark circles, and fine lines, and that it uses uh, an 
Let's see, a concentration of botanical oils, vitamins A, E, and K, along with isoflavin, which is supposed to um, get rid of your puffiness. Well, we know that mama got some puffy eyes and I've got some definite, um, you know, dark circles. Um, I really liked last month's box, even though it was an expensive product. Um, I had my card. It told me something about it. It told me what it was worth. I don't really know anything about this. So I'm going to have to do some research to figure it out. I mean, you know, I don't need, it's got the, I'll have to look at the ingredients and make sure there's nothing I'm allergic to, that sort of thing. So that's kind of disappointing also. I did though notice right away two things that really got me excited. And these are really, I mean, I've got plenty of brushes. Um, the perfume, I thought it smelled pretty good at first, but <laughs> the longer it's been here in this box marinating and leaking, um, the stronger the scent gets, and I'm, I'm really not liking that too much. Plenty of brushes. Um, I already have my Anastasia Brow Wiz, um, so you know I don't know if I'll use that or not. But I will use these. These are Makeup Geek um, pressed eyeshadow pans. And I'm real excited. Um, I happen to already have this one. This one is a matte. And it's a warm brown. And it's called Cocoa Bear. Um, it is one of her most popular colors to have. Um, when you pull it out like that and you open it up, you can see it's just a pan you would put in a Z palette. Um, but anyway, I wanted to swatch it for you. I've got a broke fingernail, guys. I'm sorry. And it didn't feel too good when I got it. But anyway, it's just a nice warm brown. It's, um, I don't know what this is. I, I, I don't know what that is. I don't know where that shadow is coming from. I can't figure it out. Anyway, it's a nice warm brown. Um, it's great for the crease. And it's, um, like I said, one of her more popular ones. I think that Coco Bear is actually her husband, her new husband's nickname. And so, um, anyway, but I like that I'm getting a backup of that one because, it, like I said, it's one of the more popular ones. And I know that I like this one, so that's great. I'm excited about this one because it is a duochrome. It's not one of their full shadows, but it's a duochrome. I love any kind of a duochrome. In fact, this one, to look at it in the package, reminds me of one that I have um, from Urban Decay. And so I'm inter interested to see how... Um, similar they are. This one is called Backlight. So let's get this out and I'll swatch it for you. Let me do it this way because I'm afraid it's going to fall out. Okay. <clears throat> so, um, I'll, it's really pigmented. It's really pretty. This would, uh, especially with a little Fix Plus, this would be gorgeous, um, right on the lid. Um, so let me, uh, swatch that for you. Can you see that, guys? Isn't that pretty? I have not purchased any of her Dura Crumbs before. Um, this one has, uh, it's very iridescent. And you can see that it has a purple, um, a purple base. But I see, you know, in, in the swatch, I see the purple, but I also see pink. And I see a lot of blue. So, um, I'm really excited to try one of these before having to, um, you know, like, I don't like to burp like purchase a whole bunch of these, you know, before I know if I like them or not, but it's a really soft, great quality. Makeup Geek is, I mean, you cannot beat their shadows. They, they are awesome. Um, so I, I'm really excited about these two things. Um, I doubt that I'll get much use out of the eyebrow uh, pencil. Uh, yeah, the, this makeup brush, I'll probably pass that on to someone else. So between that and the, um, the possibility that this is going to work, um, yeah, um, guys, this is not a $21 box in my opinion. I mean, it's just not, I mean, I have no idea how much this stuff is worth, but, um, I can tell you right now that they would probably say that this isn't in the 10 to $15 range, but I don't see it, you know, it's, I mean, it's synthetic and um it's a uh, very loose um it's just not um what i like in a brush um I personally I, I like elf brushes better than that 
Um, so yeah, a little disappointed, um, but I did want to share it with you guys just so you could kind of see, you know, I'm upset that this was leaking and that sort of thing. So I'm glad that I got it out of the mailbox and didn't let it sit there for a day or so because, um, I I'm bad to not get to my mailbox like I need to. Um, so yeah, and I guess you can see my pajama pants here. Yes, I'm filming in my, my pajamas, but oh well guys, um, I just wanted to come on here and talk to you about this. Um, and I will let you know if I find any updates about any of these products or how they're going so anyway um give me a thumbs up if you like my honest opinion because that's exactly what it is it's as honest as it can be um so you know if, if you can appreciate an honest opinion i um would appreciate a thumbs up and if you're new to my channel then guys, I'm glad to have you and I would love for you to hit that subscribe button. So I uh, guess that's it. I hope that you guys have a great evening. Bye.